It's a sketch comedy podcast show. Jorge, it's a new week. Happy Monday. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Good. You know you are the best virtual assistant. I actually cherish every day I get to work with you. Oh, you're so sweet. You're yeah, so you, sweet. you know, one of the things I really love about it is that you, you know, you ask me to do interesting tasks, but they're never like crazy or just off the wall. I just really appreciate how consistent you are and, and how much you uh, really appreciate all the things I do for you. Yeah, you know, I I couldn't run my business. Actually, I couldn't run my life without you. And that's why having these meetings with you on Monday morning really start my week off great. And, you know, that's why I just love having it first thing Monday morning because I got all these ideas that happened to me over the weekend. And I'm like, Jorge is going to be able to take care of these for me. So I do have a list for you. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's start right at the top. Okay. So... I know you probably even hear me lately talk about my mother. She's been kind of needy lately. She's like online shopping and trying to find the cheapest stuff she can find. And then she gives me a call to tell me like the exciting balloon that she found that she got for 50 cents. And I just, I love her. I just don't have time for that. So what I need you to do is answer the phone when my mother calls. Now you can't have your voice. It, you have to sound like me. You you so want you, me to answer the phone and talk to your mom? Yes. Yep. You you have to sound like me a little bit. Uh, you got to listen to say yep. Uh huh. At the end of the conversation, you want to make sure you say okay, love you, ma. Like you got to have it drawn out like like your your baby goat, ma. Love you, ma. Yes. Yes. Okay. There you and, go. Okay, so I feel like I should practice some of this stuff. Yeah, yep. Okay, let's okay, hear so it. So I, I need to. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. I love you, Ma. That sounds good. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll route all the calls over to uh, this phone line. And every time she calls, I'll just, uh, I guess I'll pretend I'm you. Okay. Yeah, and if she's like, honey, what's wrong? You just say that you got bronchitis. Bronchitis. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And then that won't make the, the conversation any shorter, but it will just explain your voice. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, all right. that's, that's one of the more unusual things you've ever asked me to do, but uh, sure. We'll, we'll You'll get, you, you're a great assistant. You'll be able to get this. As you also know, we're moving into a new place. We need some help with some packing I don't know if you'd be able to get over there to do it, or maybe you could find somebody else to do it. But uh, we got like a lot of magazines. For some reason, I've got this thing about keeping old magazines. I don't know. Maybe I'm a hoarder. Who knows? But I just have a hard time getting rid of magazines. So I have like a lot of magazines that need to be disposed of. And they're not oh. the kind of magazines that you can just drop off at the Salvation Army, though. Elementary schools, I know they, they use magazines to cut things out and, like, make uh, boards or whatever. Yeah, I mean, these are not the kind of bushes you're going to want to cut out in an elementary class. <laughs> They're in the, the more of the erotica realm. Oh, so these are, uh, like, adult magazines? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. well, I, it's just like, a, we got, like, four or five, like... hundred. Four or five hundred? I'm a 37-year-old woman. They come out once a month. Add it up. I'm going to have to, like, hire a service to pull all that stuff out. Ooh, but I don't want them to know that it's my stuff. Can I just put it in your recycling bin, then? I would prefer maybe you put it in a lawn bag. Maybe drop it off at, like, the recycling center or the compost bin or something. <sighs> Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's a good way to handle that one. I, I drive a Prius. I don't think I'm going to have enough room in my car. I'll pay a... you for the extra gas mileage to make the few trips. Okay. And feel free to take some of your own. I mean, some of them are really vintage. Like, if you love Bush, there is a Bush in those. <laughs> yeah. All right, was that it for this week? or? I'm going to need you to call my husband. Uh... Okay, uh, what do you need me to tell Josh? 
I need you to tell them that we're getting a divorce. What? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be an uncomfortable conversation. I prefer it come from you. You know, he knows that you and I talk. So I think it would be an easier blow if it didn't come straight from me. Just tell him, like, yeah, the past 20 years have been really great. Uh, I, I, I need to move out with my life. Yeah, he, he doesn't know anything about this? No, no, no. That's why I need you to, to give him a call. You guys are scheduled to go on a vacation, I thought, just next week. Oh, Jorge. Those plans can be changed. I'll still go. So you want me to make sure I answer the phone, your mom? You want me to clean out the bathroom of the three to four hundred uh, Oh, you, you know, uh, after you tell Josh that he's not invited, I'm going to need you to pick up some stuff for my vacation. Oh, like a shopping list. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. I, I, great. I can definitely do that. So uh, do, you, do you, you want to give me the list of things that you need? Okay, so I'm going to need some suntan lotion. Sure. I'm going to need some Dramamine. Okay. And I need you to pick up a penis pump, one that you think would be a good fit for somebody who's maybe pinky height. That's tragic. There's a great All store right. in Wickedon Street. That they'd be able to help you, no problem. Uh, yeah, is that the one you have the account at? Yes, it is. Yes. All right, so mother calls. You want me to clean out the bathroom of all the magazines. You need me to end your marriage. You need me yes. to go buy a penis pump. Please tell me that that's all you have for this week. I just... Yeah, it was a pretty productive weekend. Uh, all right, I just want to give you a heads up for next week. My Auntie Sue is kind of on her deathbed. I don't know if she's going to make it. But if she doesn't, I might need you to go over there and, like, take care of them. Like a dead body? I mean, I don't know what you do with a dead body. I mean, I never really... Is there anything I need to do with the body? Yeah, I'm going to need you to get it to the crematorium. And then find a place for the ashes to be. Well, we, you can't, like, do anything with the ashes because then you might end up being haunted by her spirit. So I just suggest that you just keep her ashes somewhere in your house. It could be a closet. It could be on a shelf. I don't know what happens if you, like, dump them out. So I just just don't chance it. Oh, yeah, and there's one more thing I need there's, you to there's do. one more thing after the yes. dead body? Yeah. I'm going to need you to feed the goldfish. That's it. I quit.